Hello family, this is a queen who care cares for you, and I am happy to say I am back in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh my God, I tell you, you know, sometime family, I just wanted to give a quick message that you have to listen to your intuitions when it speaks to you. You really do. You have to listen to your intuition when it speaks to you because your intuition, your gut feeling is really going to let you, it's an it's a alert, uh, a warning that something ain't right. Just like, um, what is his name, Keith Sweat song, song, that song, something, 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 something just ain't right. Well, I have to say, I tell you, I got so much to talk about this trip. I'm going to be giving you segments of different things that I have experienced in this trip. And I have to tell it like it is. Even though I was going to visit family, but like they say, blood family is not always going to treat you the way you deserve to be treated, uh, expected to be treated, because I tell you, I had experienced something, something, something when I was in New Mexico, and you know, my, my YouTube channel is about real life experience, and this was a real life experience. But it's just a little story time, a little, I'm not going to elaborate on it that much, but I'm going to get into details on it later. Like I say, I'm just, just so happy to be home. I mean, I got home last night around about my plane um, landed in Atlanta, Georgia, 1215. By the time I called the Uber and got home and everything, it's about 130. And I tell you, I was so glad to step foot in my own apartment. I just, whoa, I was like. Those people in church, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Woo! I was just thanking, thanking, thanking the universe for just getting me home safe and sound. And I was able to just be relaxed in my own bed and just have peace of mind. Family, I don't know if, uh, y'all, if y'all ever experienced living with someone that, uh... That don't like you for no apparent reason at all. Never try to get to know who you are as a person. Just took sight on you to say they didn't like you. And that will happen with my grandson's wife. She was a real B-I-T-C-H. She really was. Every time I tried to talk to her, speak to her, she would not. She just... Uh, was very short with everything. I never met a per. I have experienced a lot of things in my life, but I have never experienced a person that um didn't like you for no apparent reason. And you know what? Who knows what my grandson could have um said to her in the past about you know me or whatever. I don't know. You know, I didn't think I did it anything wrong to him I mean his mom which is my daughter she died when she was 28 he his dad wanted to raise him at the um he was six and you know doing time doing um after he got you know up a teenage he did make some accusation that somebody told him that you know that um he was that um I had his clothes out in this I think he said his dad told him that I had his clothes out in the streets and all this kind of stuff. And he didn't have no food to eat. I, that's what he told me his dad told him. But I would I don't know why his dad would tell him such a lie because that is not true. It, it Nothing like that uh, ever existed. That never happened. And that is, that is not a true, a true statement. But I, you know... As I uh, went into, when I went there up there to visit my son, grandson, I see 
the two weeks that's been he has changed a whole lot um since he married this young lady i mean his whole demeanor is just not what uh not what it should be not at all he you know he has really changed to somebody else another person that i don't know but i tell you they my two weeks was not good up there it was not good at all I would go into later about details, but I tell you, you just have to, you know, it's sad when people don't have to try to get to know who you are, know what you're about, and they just make up um, a decision to just dislike you for no apparent reason. All my intention was to go up there and help them as much as possible with the baby. I was planning on staying about two or three months, but when I came there and seen the way she operated, I was like, Hell to the no. I did not sign up for this. This is not fair. This is disrespectful, rude, and like I, the sad part of about it, that my grandson allowed all that to happen. How could you allow someone, how could you allow someone, your, your grandmother, to be disrespected by your wife? How could you allow that? That is not fair. It's you are no it's no man can come in my life and and and, and my family walk around the house and, and they not saying nothing. That's not gonna happen because he will be out the door. Trust me and believe he will be if he if I'm not I'll be out the door. I this is what I would do. I'd tell my family, listen, I'ma send you back home and I'ma handle her. Or I'ma handle him. <laughs> or whatever. And it just was too too uncomfortable. And my grandson was he was fine with it. He was he said that he talked to her, but who knows? Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But if he did talk to her, she still did kept on doing what she was doing until she, you know. And then at the same time she expected me to stay there and be of assistance with the baby, which is I didn't mind. That's my grandbaby. But if you're not walking around talking to me and giving me snotty and and, and and I can feel your energy, why would somebody stay there? that? And it's just so dumb. It just don't make no sense. That's just like I. Why would you want a person to keep your baby if you ain't doggone speaking to them? That is just dumb as all I do. That is just a retarded move. It it doesn't make any sense at all. Mm. Oh, I don't like Miss Tanya, but you know what? Y'all churn, y'all stay. <laughs> y'all can stay here with her. How dumb is that? Dumb, 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 dumb. And you know, people, they don't like you for different they can they just just make a, a um a judgmental decision on maybe what they heard. Maybe they don't like your style, the way you look. I don't know what the case may be, but all I know that but I already felt in my gut feeling and my I already felt in my gut feeling and my um my intuition told me this lady wasn't right at all because my I have talked to my grandson over time and not one time she never say, Tell your grandmother hi, I'm looking forward to meeting her, blah blah blah. Which my grand, which my grandson said that she said she wanna to get to know me, but she ain't really wanna get to know me. that was that that wasn't nothing she said, that was just him saying that to get me there. But I spent two weeks there, and I thank the universe that I got a chance to spend with my granddaughter, and I have and everything, and spent some time with her. But I tell you, that trip was staying there for them two weeks was very, very uncomfortable. I should, a lot of my family members say I should have turned back around when I met her, because when I met her, that I got in town late on the 18th, and when I got in the car and spoke to her, it's like she barely wanted to speak no introduction my grandson didn't even introduce her that was a big red flag right there i should have just <laughs> turned back around just got another ticket and turned back around but i didn't because i spent a lot of money coming there which my grandson had promised to do a whole bunch of stuff that he was gonna uh pay you know help me out with my bills did that and none of that didn't happen at all but i'm just Y'all probably saying, well, goodness, she just telling it all. But, yes, I'm going to tell it all because, you know what, this might help somebody else. You never know what people are going through out there, different situations and everything. And just be careful, y'all. It's okay to help people. 
you know, I love helping people. I love it. And I try to help families members as much as possible with it in my means. But you know what? I'm not going traveling nowhere across the world. No will happen. No, nobody. I don't care who it is. The only person I do that for is my daughter. My daughter and my son. And my son is incarcerated. So, uh, right now. So, um, I can't do it for him. But I can be there support him and everything. But my, um... My daughter is in Florida, and that would that's the only person I'd be doing that for. But anybody else, I'm sorry. I, I can't do it. Mm -mm. I am, let me help you as much as I can, you know, from the coming from my own home. I can encourage you. I can motivate you. I can try to lift you up. If you are living in the same state I'm listening to and you live nearby, maybe if you're sick and shed in, I can run some errands for you, what so whatever the case might be. But I tell you just to pick up the money, the money that I spent, I probably spent like a thousand dollars going and coming. Well no, going and coming, I say it was a little less, maybe about six, seven, but then in between what you get buying this and doing this and, and all that kind of stuff, paying for cabs and all that stuff. When you round it up, about a thousand. But family, I just want to give y'all a little quick update. I am home. I am got home safe and sound. And I just can't thank the universe enough because I have been through a ordeal. When I tell you ordeal or ordeal, I would get into details about a lot of the stuff what went on. But I tell you, it was terrible. That was when, that was a a, a trip, uh, no, I say I was gonna name it surviving the be the in the belly of the devil. <laughs> I tell you, because I, you know, I always say no matter what it look like, smell like, tastes like, you just continue to be positive and uplift yourself and affirmation. But guess what? I was tested. I I was tested. I was tested, tested. People say, yo, you should have said this. You should have said that. I mean, no, I'm not saying nothing to her. I just want to stay with her. I just stayed, you know, out of nature. You know, y'all see me doing videos from out of nature, you know, and I stayed with my affirmations. I had my own little picnics. I ordered food, some pizza and stuff like that. And I just was to myself and just meditation and just visualizing myself back home in my own room and so I am here I I just thank it and you know what I, I'm looking forward to a great summer and just doing things that continues to uplift and, uh, and encourage you guys so um I'm going to uh in this video and don't y'all know y'all just please uh like, share, comment, uh, thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please. If y'all new to my channel, please subscribe. I will have a lot of content, more content coming, and to uh about my trip, this trip, because this gonna probably be broken to a whole bunch of segments, but it'll be different top. It'll be different topics. It, it, I won't name it like a part one or part two or something like that, but it's going <laughs> to it's a lot to talk about on this trip. When I tell you, I got a whole bunch of content concerning this trip, but I'm just going to break it up, you know, over time. And believe me, everything I talk about, every subject I talk about is basically what happened to me. So you guys stay tuned, listen and learn and grow. And like I said, share my video because you never know what somebody going through in their life. So you can use this video for a reference. <laughs> but you guys have a wonderful day. Continue to wear your masks. Keep your six feet distance. Stay safe. And know that a queen who cares, cares for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.